So it's safe to say that as a handbag lover, we love to see our handbags in action, okay? When I watch videos for what's in my bag, I get excited because I get to see how much I can potentially pack in that bag. And so that was the thought process behind today's video. Not to mention that it's it's cold outside, but I got a lot of natural sunlight and I really wanted to I really wanted to show this beauty off in natural sunlight. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Viv, and if this is your first time watching any of my videos, I'm glad to have you here. If you're coming back to watch more videos, well then, hey sis, how you doing? Now listen, in my last video, I kind of I kind of spoke about this cutie, you know, with an attitude and I'm here to redeem myself. Why? Because as much as I love my recent purchase, watch the video if you wanna see what I'm talking about. For those of you who saw me unbox the Tabby wristlet, I cannot wait to wear that bag. However, I don't wanna forget about this one. So today, I wanna to pack her out so I can rock her all weekend long because I don't know where the weekend is gonna take me, but sis, we are gonna have a good time. How beautiful is she? And I'm really trying to use the sunlight that is available. Do I need to push that plant out the way? Is it bothering you? Hold on, sis. Let me just scooch it. Scooch. Does anyone else say scooch? I say scooch like it's a real word. Is scooch a real word? Somebody let me know in the comments because to me it's a real word. Anyway, let's get back. Girls sometimes, you know, have a hard time focusing, but <sighs> here she goes, guys. In daylight, sunlight. Look at her. Okay, I can't get over how beautiful she is. So today we're gonna treat her right. We're gonna pack her out. Now, my goal is to not carry every single thing in the world, but let's see how the essentials work. I might add a little bit more to it, but for right now, let's, let's get into another quick review because we have to do this thing. Like, what if this is your first time watching a video and you've never seen this bag? I don't wanna be selfish. So check out the crossbody strap. It is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. We're gonna put this crossbody strap to the side. Let's get into this cutie. One of the first things I wanna do is put, I need to transfer, excuse me. I wanna transfer some of the contents from my usual cosmetic pouches, right? I've had these pouches now, guys. For like several years i don't even remember when i got them it might be seven years at this point and i wish michael kors would come back with this style so that i can get another two because i have worn these like look at this and i'm not giving it up no nope so when i can get michael kors for 50 dollars a piece i just can't justify investing in something pricier for what it's, no not not for that but anyway, that's not why you came here. Let me focus. All right. So I want to take the contents of some of these out and put it in here. And I'm going to transfer the products that I have in here into my Nolita 15. Is it 15? Yeah. My little Nolita. Um, I've been waiting to use these as little throw-in-the-bag pouches because... They're perfect, I think so. And with this strawberry print, do you match your bags? Do you match, do you coordinate? I should say, do you coordinate? Do you coordinate the contents of your bag? I know I do, I do, I love it. So what we're gonna do, I think in here, I would like to put my cosmetics. All right, let me show you what I plan on putting in this pouch and before we get too far into the video i want to share the candle back there that i am using this week it smells divine i picked it up when it was on sale last weekend when they had the three wick candles at 50 percent off the fragrance or the scent is called fiji white sands sis oh my god 
gosh, it smells so good. Um, so next time, if you are in Bath and Body Works, grab the candle, if you see it, and just smell the inside of the lid. You'll, you'll catch a good whiff of the fragrance and you'll know if it's for you. And that way you don't have to smell all the wax because that can that can get you sick i don't know about you but it, it gets me sick when i smell the wax anyway honorable mention i wanted to make sure that i put you on something that smells amazing okay for your house okay oh and one more thing my nail polish of the week oftentimes i'm in a very neutral color but i don't know if it's the whole rowan thing but I fell in love with this color a few days ago when I went to Target. Be careful when you go to Target, guys. Be careful. Target is the trap of all traps. This color is called Burning Love. And I don't think I could... Can you see that? Okay. Burning Love. I'm trying to get it in the camera. Anyway, it's very, very pretty. And I think a color like this would look amazing. Amazing for the spring and the summer. Okay, now that I've gotten those two things out the way... Let's go ahead and pack our bag. In here, I just want to go ahead and put a few cosmetics. My everyday things. Things that I know without a doubt I'm going to use throughout the day while I'm out of the house. Okay. The first thing is this. <laughs> this hand pomade by Lalabo. I found this back in January when I was out strolling at Nordstrom and I found it on sale. Guys, all I can say is for ashy hand folks like myself, this is such a nice formula. I love it because I garden and girl, this is probably the best you're going to see my hands look. You just wait till garden season comes because I don't have any shame then. Okay, like my hands are like ashy, 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 ashy. Not to mention that I'm always in the kitchen cooking and baking and that I'm always cleaning. So yeah, my hands get really ashy. But Lord, when I found this hand cream, I said, Lord, this looked like the first set of hands that you gave me. This is a... Then when I have my daddy's hands too, like, you know, but like all wrinkly, but hey, I love them. Thank you, Lord, for my hands, but moisturizes the cuticle. It's not too greasy. So this formula right here, it's a winner. So it's going in there. I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you. So I'm going to put that in here. Another thing that I've been loving, is that upside down? Oh, here we go. Another thing that I've been loving is this Bobbi Brown lip gloss. It is not, not too glossy. Believe it or not, you know, it just looks like, it's not like shiny, shiny, shiny lips. It's not that. It's just a nice flattering. Do I need to swatch? Oh gosh. Didn't I just put the lotion on my hands, guys? It's okay. I'll swatch for you. Look at that. Such an, and it's just, it's a very nice, pretty nude lip color for me. Okay. I love how it feels. Anyway, that's going in there. And sometimes when I don't want to use that one, I will use this one now this one is shiny but it gives it a totally different look it also has like a little bit of a lip plumper in there it's a nice gloss gives you like just a light wash of color and i think that's very pretty it's going in there because i had to do all of that i do not have i do have wipes yay but i'm not gonna pack these wipes in here even though i can i might let's see at the end of the video because I just use my good lotion. I might as well put this to the side to pack in the bag a little bit later because I'm a mom and you can never have enough of these. You can never have enough of these. So we're gonna add this, but not now, a little bit later. See this right here? I'm on the go and I don't wanna carry a whole entire palette with me. I pick a fave that is 
easy to use, gets good results, and this is it. My Mac. Love it. I cannot go anywhere without a little rollerball. I really love having small perfumes with me wherever I go because you just never know, especially like when you just want to refresh. This scent by Victoria's Secret is my absolute favorite. Whenever my family does not know what to gift me for a special occasion or holiday, like, you know, birthdays, Mother's Day, maybe Christmas, Valentine's Day, they know. They know. Heavenly. Heavenly. I have it in the rollerball. I have it in the perfume. I had it in the body wash. I had everything so I could layer this fragrance. It smells good. And I've been wearing Heavenly for years. If I was to choose my signature scent, it would be Heavenly. So yes, it's going in there. I love Heavenly. What's your signature scent? Sis, do you have one? Let me know. Let me know. I don't want to overpack it. I do not want to overpack it. All right. Okay, that's good. And, and I am going to also put this in here. I've really been trying to take better care of my nails because I'm rough on my hands. I found this on clearance. I don't know where. It might have been cold. I like that it dispenses very quickly. There is a little um, brush, right? And I just like that. Um, I keep one in my bag. And this is the one. This is the newer one. It's going in there because, you know, just in case. But this one, Lord, I have used this cute. <laughs> and I have used this to like, you know, it's, pr it's practically gone at this point. So I started with this. And then I found this and I also picked up this. This is the nail oil as well, but this is the one that I keep on my nightstand. So before I get in bed, I go ahead and put a little bit of them around my cuticles too, on my hands and my feet and I see an improvement. I like it. So I'm glad that I was able to find a small one to carry along with me. And that is all that's going in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. Next up, this. Lord, it's upside down. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna go ahead and pack this. Now, this is a Coach pill box. It is a pill box, but I'm not gonna use it that way. But let me show you how it looks on the inside. So now you see how the pill box is. What I decided to put in here were some personal hygiene products. I had to repurpose it so it works for me. This is how it looks. So what I'm gonna put in here is one or two hand sanitizers. Well, let's just do it for one right now so we can see. You know, hold on. Let me go ahead and get a few more. I wanna put a few more in there. Just because this bag, I have to pack it differently from my other bags because I'm running low on some of my essentials and this some things are just extras. But there's a hand sanitizer. I'm going to talk and pack and you could see what I'm putting in here. There's a hand sanitizer that I found at Sephora. I'll put the name below. But I love it so much and I ran out. And so I might have to pick some up. I like these little wipes. I think... They are cute, <laughs> so tiny. The marketing makes me laugh every time I see it. And put these here and put 
put that there, close it up, and put it there. Now, one of the things I like about this, I always, always tend to pack extra because you never know, like if you're out in public and someone needs something, you can be kind and offer it. So, you know, yeah, and then you give them, I hope the camera didn't shake, and then you can just say, hey, take what you need, you know, and it's discreet. That's why I love it. And this is how I'm repurposing my pillbox from Coach. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in there. And remember, no matter what, I am not trying to make this heavy. So, what else is gonna go in here? Of course, my keys. This six ring key holder. I have recommended this to all of my friends. If you do not have one yet, I highly recommend that you get it. I actually picked this one up before I purchased my Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. That one was on my wish list and I got it and I used it for a short period of time because I came back to this. Why? Because I like to have my things coordinated and I really have not been wearing some of my other bags because just seasonal choices, nothing else like, you know, they weren't matching the outfits that day and so I didn't wear them. But this, I have it in this monogram, monogram print and in the black print, the black print, all black. <laughs> so it's a really, really good piece to have. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I'll put it right there. So far, so good, guys. And it doesn't feel too heavy. I was having a hard time choosing which sunglasses I really wanted to wear. But I ended up reaching for my Brighton sunglasses. I think they are just so stylish. And I'm definitely going to go ahead and use these more often. I'm, I tend to use my Coach Sunnies a whole lot more. And... Like when I'm not wearing my my glasses, like, you know, my regular eyeglasses. But I'm definitely going to try to give those more love. Now this little cutie here. <sighs> Sis, I wish, I wish I could find more of these. These are contact lens cases. I really, really, really love this thing. And I have a few. I have three. I have this this bright color a beautiful blue and pink case and then I have a very neutral one I've had these for about 10 years 10 years but I like to keep my extra lenses in here just in case I'm gonna put it right there in the pocket so far so good so far so good what else okay I will more than likely especially when it gets really hot I always have this in my bag just to spritz my face um and it just cools me down guys i live in texas you already know it's incredibly hot and i don't have time for those games in texas okay in one of my other videos i mentioned wanting to get the pencil case in the strawberry pattern i can still wait for it to go on sale because i have this one i don't always put pencils in pens in this case let me show you how I use it instead I want to put a few eye pencils all right my everyday pencil put in a primer this is one of the things that I use on my brows this L'Oreal voluminous lash primer um, I need to get another one because this one I know it's almost done put that in there this is the Estee Lauder day wear um, it's an eye cream it's really hydrating I like it very much and then this yeah, sunscreen I just started using it I want to use it a little bit more other than my um, other Estee Lauder cream and my oil of Olay sunscreen I want to give this a chance and so the only re the only way I'm going to be able to do that is to take it with me so it's going in here too so this is another great use oh, this is another great use for the pencil case this one i found it in the men's section at the coach outlet and i'm able to pack all of my um little makeup pencils and things right there last but not least 
one of my favorite wallets from Brighton. This wallet is, it packs a lot. Do you see that? I would rather a bag that had the same pattern as the strawberries or just, just simple monogram slim wallet. I might have to put that on my list because like I said before, I just have a thing for having, you know, it's a, I like to be coordinated. So this is the last thing I'm putting in there. And we're going to go ahead and zip her up. If I had a scale, I would weigh it, but seriously, it's not that important because to me, I'd either carry her top handle and to be quite honest, usually she is going to be my passenger. She's going to be in the passenger seat of the car. And when she's not the passenger, okay, I'm going to carry her in the crook of my arm. And if she's too heavy, right, and she's giving me an attitude, then I'm just going to go ahead and put the strap on. And here we go, all packed up. Guys, if you have not made it down to the outlets yet for this collection, once again, I highly, and that's kind of annoying, I highly recommend, sis, that you go and check this new drop out for yourself. There's just something, and I'm hearing it all over YouTube. I'm really hearing that everybody is loving this new colorway. I hope I enjoy wearing this beauty. So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions about any of the things that I packed in my Rowan, go ahead and comment below. So did I tell you? No, girl, hold on. Okay. Thank you for watching this portion of the video. Let me share with you some very good news. You know what? I'll, I'll pick her up so you can check her out because <laughs> she cute. Okay. So today I called my outlet, okay? Tell me why they tracked down a strawberry charm for me. They are having it shipped to Texas and then she's gonna invoice. She's gonna call me when it gets here and I'm just gonna go down there and pick it up. Oh my goodness. And so when I go pick it up, I think that's, that's a good time for me to go ahead and pick up a wallet. I already saw the wallet that I wanted and I think I'm just going to go ahead and pick up a regular monogram wallet. Okay, sis, this video is long and you already know, you, you already know what I'm about to go do. Girl, I'm about to blow out this candle in case you missed it. The candle that we are, that we are rocking with this week is from White Barn, which is, you know, on the other side of Bath and Body Works. It's still in the same shop. And the scent is called Fiji White Sands. If you can get your hand on this candle, especially when it's on sale, I highly recommend it. I've been burning it all week. It is made with essential oils and it's just, it's just a vibe. Okay, time to go ahead and blow out the candle. Move this bag to my closet. Put her on the shelf because I'm going to wear her. And... I think I need to go ahead and make dinner. I don't know what I'm cooking tonight, but you know what? I had to get this video out. Sis, in case nobody told you today, you are blessed. You are beautiful. You are loved. You are talented, honey. And you deserve every good thing that God has to give you. Remember, luxury can be obtained at every single price point. And my goal with this channel is to help you curate a life that you absolutely love starting at home. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, sis. Let me go get something to eat, girl.